It's freezing cold and Bratton's away game at Hayes and Yedden tonight has been postponed and serve many other local non-league games. That leaves only one possible game we could attend. So it's a last minute trip to last season's FA Vars winners, Ascot United at the racecourse ground who hosts Hartley Whitney in the Isthmian South Central. Did you know it's next to where the horses race? Well now you do. Anyway, enough of the waffle, I'll see you in there. So I've made it here to the racecourse ground, the home of Ascot United. I'm alive and well after driving on some very icy roads. It's going to be about minus two or three tonight, I believe, during the game. This must be the only game on in the south of the country. It's absolutely mental. But yeah, it's a great facility there, so I really like it here. We've got the race track around the corner, which I'll show you hopefully a bit later on if it's not too dark. But yeah, overall, it's a very nice setup. We've got over 70, I think, youth teams here, which is incredible. Looking at the table going into this game, Ascot United the 13th, so mid-table for them. I think it's not bad the first time ever at step four so far. Or well, Hartley Whitney, not doing too bad in eighth position, chasing the playoff spot. So yeah, Hartley Whitney have got quite a bit of ground to make up if they want to make fifth position and make, and make the last playoff spot. Looking at Ascot's recent form, They've not been doing great. Quite a few defeats, even getting battered 5-1 at home to Thatcham. So they're not in great form, are they? Hartley Whitney not much better, losing 5-1 away to Westfield recently on the 6th of January. Two defeats in five. Three wins in five in the last five, sorry. So yeah, both in mixed form. Now these are what you call cheesy chips. Lush. My apologies, I would show you the racetrack. You can see the, um, the fencing around there so slightly so yeah sorry about that just tried to have a look for today's starting lineups unfortunately neither team seems to have them but what i can tell you is ascot united probably are going to play ben harris and liam tack at some point tonight with that starting off the bench i don't know two ex practical players it'll be great to see them on the pitch hopefully tonight look at this this is impressive all the merch they got and trophies and things even a football box here would they Ben Harris is starting for Ascot United. Meanwhile, playing for Hartley Whitney, starting is striker Connor Lynch, who's on loan from Winchester City. He's been banging in goals for Hartley Whitney, so I'm sure he's going to be banging them in tonight. For the row, I'm going behind the goal. I think Ascot are shooting that first half. Whether I stayed or not, I, I have no idea, but I'm getting colder and colder. I must be absolutely crazy doing this. All eyes on Ben Harris. If he doesn't score hat-trick tonight, I'll be disappointed. Ben Harris is going to close him down. Look at Ben Harris. He's super, isn't he? He's going to go for a shot. Straight to the keeper. Okay. My hands are cold, and that's mainly because of the beer. I'm not that bad. I mean, no. I thought it'd be worse than this, to be fair. Oh, goal for Hartley. I must say, Ascot started off a better side. Yeah, it was a pretty good finish, to be fair. At least we got some atmosphere tonight, that's the main thing. Oh, that was nearly Benno's. Win that fellow, go on. Good for a shot. No. Now he is. Good save by the keeper. Fair to say, Ascot are definitely the better team at the moment. Don't deserve to be behind, that's for certain. Well, that was cheeky. In the box now. Oh, keeper fumbled it there. Oh, nearly a clash of heads. Boosh! And that's into the race course. That was a big clash. Yellow card for the Hartley player, but that makes sense to be fair. It's quite a bad tackle. That's my ball, isn't it? Oh! That scared me then. Oh! Nearly had him. Nearly had the keeper on his ass. Go for a boost. Go for it, he has. Another good save. Rebounds. And yet and yes, another corner. Excellent tackle. Oh, it's 2-0 to Hartley. That is, that is frustrating for us, but they've been the much better side. Wow. Who would have thought it? Hartley 2-0 up. Saying that, I'm still going to go down the other end second half because I think Ascot, like I said, are the best, better team so far. I wouldn't put it past them to get a comeback in the second half and make it 2-2, but we've got to see anyway. But Ascot, that is so frustrating for Ascot though, isn't it? You've got to admit. It's like a game of FIFA for this. I mean, Ascot have been the much better team. They've had more chances. But of course, Hartley Whitney, 2-0 to the good. 
two great finishes, very clinical. Ascot have got to do the same second half if they want to equalise at 2-2 two, two in the second half. They could do it, don't get me wrong, they've been the better side, but there's no point having all the shots in the world if you can't finish them off, and that's exactly what Hartley Whitney done in the first half. Look how cool this is, the Ascot United Sports Bar. I'm trying to focus, there you go, look at that. Isn't that lovely, it's another part of the ground on the shelf. It's not really focusing though, is it? Come on. There you go, look at that. That looks lovely. Oh, well oh, saved by the keeper. That's a big oof. Fell to him. He's gone for the boosh. Straight to him. Oh no, 3 0 maybe. No. They're going for it, aren't they? Ben Harris. And it's offside, and it's over anyway. Another shot. And that goes just wide. That's nice, that's nice bit of play. Finish it, finish it! Ref, fuck him! Fuck him! Got some whinging going on from this number 11. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that went in. Absolute scenes. If they score this, that'd be the game put to bed, I think. The fruit. Good save, yeah. Good save to be fair to him. Oh, nearly. Nearly had it. He's going to score. Oh, it's blocked. I just can't wait to get back in my car in the warm. Like Absolutely bad, freezing. Give a boost, go on. Yeah, that's it, I think. Hartley won the game. 30 seconds to go. So the story of the night was clinical finishing is always the winner as Hartley Whitney win 2-0 tonight at the race course ground beating Ascot United the hosts and I have to say Hartley Whitney had a few more chances in the second half than they did in the first half so in that respect Hartley were better in the second half but I think Ascot as well had more chances second half but he just couldn't put the ball in the back of the net and that's how football works sometimes it's not about how many chances you have but it's, but it's how you take those chances so yeah great result for Hartley good luck to them in their playoff chase and also good luck for the rest of the season to ask Scott I probably I might be back there again at some point who knows at some point in the season but if you've enjoyed this video please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already for more non-league vlogs this Saturday I am back at Bracknell against Gosport Borough at Bottom Meadow so I'm 95% sure that would go ahead but anyway Thank you ever so much for watching and as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video.